Assalamu alaikum guys so today with a new exciting scholarship and a new video so before going to how to apply on this scholarship we will discuss that about its eligibility its benefit and documentation host country is south korea university is kaist at korea advanced institute of science and technology master and phd students can apply and study will be begun uh, in the march eligibility uh, you do not need to provide any ept score there is a criteria in their application about the ept score so the country belong people belongs to these countries they do not require to provide a ept score like also uh, india and pakistan bangladesh are included in those countries what kind of documents you need a complete application form academic transcripts and certificate copy of passport a resume you need a statement of purpose motivation letter a recommendation letters proof of language proficiency you are also exempted from a language proficiency if your last degree is english medium and also you, if you belong to a english countries a research proposal for phd and master applicants what kind of benefit this scholarship will provide to student like full tuition fee monthly stipend accommodation airfare tickets insurance and books there are other scholarship who also student can apply like a benefit of kaist global presidential scholarship four years semester for master and a phd and they will provide a stipend around about you can see that 1000 benefit of kaist uh, prestige scholarship for international phd student they will provide 300000 uh, scholarship and benefit of kaist coe phd fellowship they will provide uh, 225 lakhs a krw is a, a south korean currency okay let's move toward on their official website that how you can apply on their portal this is their main website of portal that you can apply there first of all you you can see their apply and result in announcement so click on open here is a detail of about everything like admission timeline application procedure important notes notice and other information so what you have to do now you have to check in the consent form like here i consent i consent i consent i consent and i have read consent and consent all above information i do not hold a korean nationality you have to click here then you can up go for the application form and then you will fill the application they will send you some kind of information on their email so i already made a account after a clicking on application form you will get a some information i will show you here write your email address and your password and login after login on their application portal they will show you four steps so in the first step you have to choose your major like if you click on the major there is a lot of program you can choose program master phd integrated and phd if you want to combine master and phd study you can choose first one if you want to choose phd just click on it they ask about faculty advisor you don't you do not need to add any information about the faculty and then you have to fill all the basic information like upload your picture write your name write your nationality and date of birth mobile number postal address and email this part is very important because after completing the first consent form you have to put information about your email id and then they will ask you about the verification code 
when you click on the verification code they will send an email on your account like i show you they will send you some kind of a verification code you have to put this verification code in the section and click on the verification then your email id and your application portal is will be verified and then you have to choose identity document like your passport it should be in pdf form after that financial resources i will show you all of the information about the scholarship then you have to choose caste scholarship after after that there is the parental relationship and nationality verification you have to upload identity document of both parents like your father and mother and certificate of family registration in other words you can call it frc and then you have to save and continue when you click on save and continue they will show you a pop up notification save complete click on okay and wait for the next step in the next step they will ask you about academic information if you are going to apply for the phd degree you have to choose both bachelor and master if you are going to apply for a master scholarship you have to choose just a bachelor degree and then put information about your bachelor degree like admission date graduate name of institution your uh, cgpa and you have to upload your degree and transcript here just choose file from the directory and upload it about the english proficiency you can they did not ask you any place to upload the english proficiency letter you must request a waiver of ept requirement if you meet the eligibility criteria for the waiver as i already show you about the ept you do not need to put information about the ept because if you belong to these countries you you do not need to put the information about ept and then you can check out request waiver of ept score submission ept waiver criteria they have four criteria you need to check one so citizenship or degree from an exempt country you have to choose this one so if you belong to a english medium country or you are belong to english country you can choose that citizen and english medium degree from a specified country you can also choose that one topic score you need to choose an a work experience if you have any kind of work experience like internship like like any a job related work you can upload information here like how many month how many year you work there what is your location and what is your position what is your main responsibilities and then you can upload a certificate of your experience of your work letter of recommendation letter of recommendation is very important part in scholarship you need to to provide information about two recommenders their name their affiliation their postal address and their phone number their email and their position their position should be assistant professor associate professor and full professor after putting the information you have to click on save and continue they will pop up you do you want to save you can click on okay save complete and they will move to next step is a step 3 step 3 is a important section you have to write a lot of information about what did you study at your previous institution you have to choose a specific courses and write about i study these courses what motivation what motivated you to choose this major why you choose the program in which you are going to apply for a scholarship you have to write almost 500 byte 500 byte mean 500 words if your words are more than 500 they will show you a red error briefly state your study plan i already told you you have to 
write your study plan statement of purpose purpose and motivation letter what are your plan after completing the your study and you can briefly uh, explain that after completing your study what will you do you will go back to your country or you will stay in their country or do some kind of work or a job what honors and awards have you received what kind of scholarship award you received in your previous education you have to narrate all of the things here provide a brief introduction to any institution you previously attended if you belongs to any country and you study some kind of short study like an internship in any institute you can also detail about it it's a optional part if you want to write it it's okay if you don't want to write it it's also okay what motivated you to apply for your second choice major you can also write about it and then is a statement of purpose in other words we call it sop write it down a detail and accurate statement of your purpose and objective in pursuing your study at kast you have to write all the information why you choose that country why you choose that scholarship why you choose this university and why you are applying for a scholarship you have to detail all of the things and this time you have to write 5000 byte like 5000 words your words should not be more than 5000 after that you have to click on save and continue they will pop up you do you want to save click on okay save complete and then click okay after that in a fourth step they will ask you some other documents like your submission of core documents like curriculum vitae you have to upload your cv proof of excellence if you have any other document you can upload it here this section and you can write the information here choose file these are optional document if you don't if you want to upload it it's okay if you don't want to upload it it's also okay there are no additional documents required for your chosen program if for example you choose another program maybe they will ask you some other supporting documents in my case i choose department of chemistry but they did not ask any kind of in document from it after you have to click on save and continue after save they will show you the all of the document about you have already filled the, your information you can see there every file is attached and one more thing you have to click on the preview application you can also preview your application here will show you the name and other thing is that is a korean and international both have to pay a usd 80 for the scholarship there are a lot of seats in this scholarship if you invest your usd 80 dollars in in this scholarship you can get it easily because people mostly don't pay fee if a scholarship have some kind of a no refundable fee if you pay your fee and do your investment just 80 dollars you can get this scholarship because the reward is too much you can see here their benefit is a full tuition fee they will give you a monthly stipend accommodation is free they will give you a air fare ticket they will give you insurance and books if you see these all of the benefit 80 80 usd is a nothing so share this video with your friends with your facebook groups and remember me in your prayers